Welcome everyone, you are about to watch an... Squirtle! Char! Yeah, Squirtle! Squirtle! Charmander! Char! <sighs> an epic movie of... Charmander! Char! Squirtle! 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 Wow, thanks. You part of the 141? No, I'm just a janitor. Since when do janitors carry M60s and British accents? Anyway, enjoy the show. Roll film! Not that film, moron. What's up, everybody? It's your coffee addicted gamer, Dr. Chiz, aka Dr. Coffee MD, as I am known by my YouTube channel name, and I'm bringing you a standard 6v6 TDM on Hanoi using the much loved FAMAS with the blue dot attachment. And thank you, Wings of Redemption, for pointing out that the blue dot is smaller than the extra red dot, but, um,. Hope you're all having a great day so far. I broke out the nicely roasted French and Colombian coffee beans for you guys. Not any of that stupid instant dirt water crap you might be drinking. So grab a cup, have a laugh, and enjoy the eye candy that is unfolding before your very eyes. A little bit of a backstory on this game. I was in a party of four quote unquote friends. They say that lagged out, but more than likely they ditched for whatever reason. So this is just me solo dolo rambling at this game. So uh, watch me carry my team to a triumphant victory. I want to bring to everyone's attention Cogito Ergo Sum, which translates to I think therefore I am. You've probably heard this line before, but it's a concept by the great philosopher Rene Descartes. To get to the point, he's saying you cannot think yourself out of existence because you are a thinking being. Now I bring this to your very attention, all of you YouTubians, because one, it's get to know a little philosophy, alright? It is. And two, and more importantly two, because I have a philosophy midterm next week and I have no idea what the fuck I've quote unquote learned out of three months in that class except that I can doodle like a motherfucker I drew hutch I got so bored one day I mean I didn't learn crap in that class my caffeinated gameplay filled brain didn't understand anything except that quote I just gave back to you guys and that quote makes perfect sense so um Maybe you guys are philosophy majors out there and would like to school me from the late BC centuries of Socrates. Oh, big shout out to Socrates and COD4 gameplay. I love you, man. Up to the years of Isaac Newton. And yes, Isaac Newton, regardless of what you think, was a philosopher. Not just that old guy you read about in textbooks who had a serious hatred of apples after a certain incident with a gravity. Now, that was a bit random, but it was something I needed to get off my chest, and maybe you guys will help me pass that midterm I have coming up, huh? You guys are my friends, right? No, everybody hates me, but, uh, yeah. I'm just owning bitches with this AK-74U. I picked up the ground here, and what oh the fuck? God, such a bullshit death. Why is it always the bullshit deaths? Oh, God, what is happening to me now? Oh, fuck, a light. Where am I? Who's here? Can anybody help me? I am the COD God, creator of host migration, ghost bitches, and panic knifers. Oh my god, really? Oh my god, is, is this it? Is this the end? No more commentaries, no more gameplay, no more killing noobs, no more YouTube, man? I don't know why you're here, and hell nah, you need to get back in there and tear some bitches up. Don't worry, I'll send you back. Yo, what the fuck, Con God? This isn't right at all. Oh, my bad, bro. Here you go. Whoa, that was a little, uh, freaky and trippy, but it's, uh, nice to be back to my proper gameplay here with the, uh, correct people viewing it. Anyway, great job, Cod God. You're doing a swell job up there. Uh, not really, though. Now, this relates to what I was talking about earlier before my meeting with the infamous Cod God. I've been pondering these ideas around in my head for a good while now, so I want to get them out to the people. But what would you name your children? Boy and girl. Now, I'm only 19 years old, so it's a weird subject to be thinking about, let alone having kids, but the specific names I would give them. But uh, I'm pretty mature for my age, believe it or not. Boobs, boobs, boobs. Okay, sorry, I can only keep the overexcited midget inside of me at bay for so long until he breaks through spewing more nonsense than dialogue in a Tracy Morgan movie. <laughs> sorry, I love him. Great guy, great guy. Anyway, what would you name your kids? Now, I thought about this for a while, and I thought of a handful of awesome names that would make them grow up into successful, powerful individuals in today's society. Here they are. Zeus, Poseidon, and Hades. Now, everyone, take a breath, and before you start laughing at me, take that into your head and sip some coffee and think about it. 
These would be the most badass fucking kids on the planet, literally legends of the goddamn playground, rulers of the high school, who would want to start any trouble with a kid named Zeus. You know, he's not getting picked on, and nor are his older brothers that they're gonna be looking up to him. Hell, Poseidon would probably be head of the swim and water polo teams by age five, and grow up to be an Olympic swimmer. Michael Phelps ain't got shit on Poseidon. In Hades, well now this can go several ways. Personally, I hope he just develops into the best metal riff guitarist on the planet, but uh, it's Hades. He might also be a complete pain and terror, which is why his older brothers are uh, there to keep his ass in line. Hell, you know Zeus is head of some multi-millionaire electric company, or even the president of the damn United States at this point, people. These are cool names, they invoke power and have a weighted connotation with them. Sure, it's silly, but I was just thinking how they would grow up and have great successful lives. Now, for a girl, I've only thought of Aphrodite, and uh, personally, I don't want my daughter going around recognized as the goddess of love. You know how that would probably turn up, and it wouldn't end well for uh, her high school career, let alone her whole life being known as the goddess of love. But uh, gameplay is wrapping up. Hope you all enjoyed my video and me uh, spewing nonsense out at you guys. Uh, this was Dr. Chiz, a.k.a. Dr. Coffee MD, and uh, have a great day, and I love you all deeply. No homo. Hope you all enjoyed the featured movie. Have a great day. This is Dr. Chiz, your coffee-addicted gamer, signing off. Here's your tea, sir. Kill confirmed! Hey, are you Xbox Ahoy? No, I'm just a janitor. Hey, by the way, that is Xbox Ahoy. I knew 